Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Um, hello, uh, my name is David, and I am going to show you a really, really awesome piece of Famicom software called Lightwall, which has been developed by Neil Baldwin and a really, really talented Famicom coder called, uh, sorry, Ned's coder called Blag. And they've been working together, bouncing ideas off of each other, and they have come up with some really, really, really good visual software. I did a video of a really kind of early alpha build of it. The software is now much, much more mature and really, really awesome. So I am going to show you it on the uh, trajectory wally thing. So just hang out for two seconds while I get a couple of things ready. Oh, sorry. Also, one more thing. There's an awful lot of features for this, and I might forget one or two, so please forgive me here, but give me just a second. Um, right. So I've got my... Let's turn this on. This is what you see when you turn on the power pack for the first time. Um, sorry, I, was, I keep pointing at the screen, but it's dark, so you can't see me. Um, these are a list of the available patterns that you have um, based on selecting the patterns directly. And it also chooses the first pattern that you're going to see when you start up. At the moment, it's all black. Press select, you'll go to the next screen, which is selecting the, uh, all of the patterns that you can scroll through, which I will get to in just a second. Press select again. Uh, power pack is now, sorry, power pack is running. Light wall is now running. And if you press left or right, you will get a pattern. Um, this is the default pattern. So one of the default patterns that's just selected to start um, when you press left or right. But you can adjust that on the configuration screen. Um, this is light wall. It's going up and down. It's absolutely awesome. Um, I used it at a live show, and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to try and show you what it does. These are all of the uh, different functions that it has. If you press left or right on your controller, um, you will simply scroll through. So this is pressing right once, left once. You'll just scroll through different patterns. If you continue pressing left, this is another pattern. Left again, another pattern. Left again, yeah, another pattern. Another pattern, left again. Isn't this awesome? Like kind of sideways rain, I really, really like that. Um, sparkly, starry things, kind of awesome. Left again. Ah, ah, here we have some snaky things, which I really, really like. I think the snakes are fantastic. Um, squirrely thing, backward squirrely thing. Um, and now we're back more or less where we started. If you hold up or down, this will adjust the animation screen. So we'll press up a bunch of times and go slightly smart, faster. Um, hold down and the animation slows down. Hold up. He says the animation gets slightly faster. Um, first thing that we're going to look at is just changing the patterns, which is really, really cool. Um, if you hold A and press right, uh, hang on a second. Are we here? Yes. If you hold A and press right, you change to, let's speed that up just a touch. You change to squirrely pattern in one direction. Hold A, press left, squirrely pattern in another direction. All, all of this you can change on the configuration screen. Up, horizontal lines, down, vertical lines. Really, really cool thing, if you tap any direction twice, you get an extra pattern. And these are the cool squiggly snake things. Down twice, turns you off. Left twice, sideways rain. Right twice, I think it's stars. Yes, it is. That's awesome. Um, if you press... If you hold A and press select, you get a random pattern. So we've got kind of tunnel-y thing, uh, windmill-y thing, squirrely thing, backward squirrely thing, just random patterns. Um, if you hold down A and press start, you will disable pattern transitions. So there'll be no transition for the next pattern you go to. So we will now go directly to squirrely things. Let's try it once more. Uh, directly to horizontal lines. Totally awesome. Um, if you hold B and press a direction, you can change shapes. So we're on squares at the moment. If you hold down, you get diamonds. If you hold left, you get circles. And if you hold right, you get hexagons. 
While holding B, if you press select once and then press a direction, you're in a different mode. So you've got kind of Mario squares, um, sort of weird squares with little squares inside them. Down is downward pointing triangular things. And uh, left once is smaller squares. Um, Blark, I'm really sorry, I have uh, something to bring to your attention. If you look over here, on the, on the right hand side of the secondary um, secondary path, secondary shapes, there's a bug of some sort. Um, if you're on, yeah, if you press select, again, it'll just take you back to transitioning between the normal shapes. All of the secondary shapes have this weird bug on the right hand side, which Blog will probably short sort out within seconds. Um, the primary shapes don't have this. Um, one of the other things that we can do is change the color. If you hold select and then up and down, you change the speed that the color cycles at. Apparently this is technically just awesome, but I don't really understand it. If you hold down, it slows down, sorry, well, selecting down slows down the speed of the color transitions. Um, while holding select, if you press B, you go to grayscale mode, which I really, really like. If you press A, you go to inverse mode. which we're now in. While holding left and right, um, you can change the... Whoa, sorry. Sorry, that's all traumatic. Hang on. Yeah, let's go back to that. If you press select while you're in inverse mode and hold left and right, you can change the background, which might be a little difficult to see, I don't know, but it's apparently cycling through different colors. Um, if you hold select and press A and B at the same time, you get uh, grayscale. Oh, sorry, inverse grayscale. One of the cool things about all of the different color changes I'm just going to see how much time I've got left. Wow, I talk a lot. Jesus Christ. Um, you, if you hold select and then press, for example, uh, A, and then release select, then release A, you're locked into inverse mode. So you can now continue to change your patterns or um, speed stuff up, change the color cycling speed, change your patterns, do whatever you want. Um, and then you can come back out of inverse mode or get locked in grayscale mode, whatever you like. It's really, really awesome. Um, oh, sorry, one other effect that I forgot to tell you about. When you're changing the speed, you hold select and press start, you pause stuff, which is really, really useful. Um, possibly the most badass part of this, if you hold start, oh, sorry, start plus up, animation speeds up, start plus down, animation slows down quite a lot. Um, start plus left or right changes the pulse direction, which I must admit, I don't quite understand what that means, but I'm sure it's awesome. Select, pauses, this is all while holding start, by the way. The most awesome thing is tap tempo. So I'm gonna turn on a USK tune called Little Sound Disco, which you should all have, because it's amazing. <laughs> And it's in time. So holding start, tapping B gives you uh, will sync it. Um, I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm just going to mess around with this for a couple of seconds. I love this software. I think it's absolutely awesome. Um, VJ's everywhere. Thanks to Blah. Thank you very much.